conflict between China and Taiwan didn't even have a chance to cool off before the Celestial Empire started provoking a new one. Last week, a Chinese J-11 fighter made a very dangerous maneuver when it came within seven feet of an American reconnaissance aircraft and flew past it at full speed. The stunt almost ended in disaster, but the American pilot managed to react and make an evasive maneuver. Apparently, the Chinese fighter didn't like that and continued pursuing the plane for an extended period of time. The encounter took place over the North China Sea. A Boeing RC-135 took off on patrol from a military base in Japan and flew at a speed of 500 miles per hour to the outskirts of the Philippines, skirting Taiwan on its way. Meanwhile, the Chinese fighter began its journey from the island of Hainan and headed directly for the strait between the island countries at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour. The two planes crossed paths near Bosco, where the J-11 caught up with the Boeing at full speed and violated flight safety protocol. The Pentagon reported that the Chinese fighter pilot performed an unsafe maneuver while intercepting a U.S. aircraft that was legally performing routine operations in international airspace. So China wants to develop the ability to project power further afield to defend its interests under the Belt and Road Initiative. Many took these actions as clear provocation, and it most likely was. Because this isn't the first time the Celestial Empire has gotten caught doing such a thing. The Chinese government has started a dangerous game because one wrong move could mean a large-scale aerial war. If the US is famous for its truly exceptional fighters, then what can China do to counter? Quite a lot, actually. Take the aforementioned J-11, for example. It's a fourth-generation multi-role combat aircraft and essentially a copy of Russia's Su-27. Its main objective is simple and straightforward – to establish air supremacy. But how was it expected to do that? Its primary weapon is its speed, capable of reaching speeds of 1,500 miles per hour and an altitude of 61,000 feet. This is a powerful fourth-generation fighter. With these parameters, it already outperforms many of its competitors, but you can't fight at one speed. The J-11 is armed with 10 anti-aircraft and anti-tank missiles, as well as a 30mm automatic cannon with 150 rounds of ammunition. The setup is simple, but effective. No wonder this fighter, like the Su-27, forms the backbone of the Chinese Air Force. But the United States certainly has a response. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is the largest of any fourth-generation aircraft. This fighter needs no introduction, because the mere fact that nearly 5,000 of them have been produced to date speaks for itself. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a lightweight multi-role fighter that is highly maneuverable in air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground attack. It has over 10 different modifications designed for specific operations, whether it be pursuing an enemy, interception, destroying a military base, or even nuclear bombing. The latest version of the aircraft has a top speed of 1,500 miles per hour and a combat radius of 350 miles. The fighter is equipped with a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan cannon, otherwise known as a minigun. This colossus alone can riddle any aircraft so quickly that the enemy pilots are already floating down by parachute before they even realize what happened. In addition to this cannon, the F-16 has nine suspended hardpoints packed with air-to-air -air missiles, aerial bombs, and other destructive munitions. In short, the US fighter is in no way inferior to its Chinese counterpart, and in some regards is even far more advanced. It's the best flying aircraft. I've had the opportunity to fly. However, the J-11 has a big brother that also has recently appeared in the news. The situation was also related to the Taiwan incident. 43 Chinese planes crossed the middle boundary in the Taiwan Strait that separates the island from mainland China. The U.S. Department of Defense notes that the air and sea space west of this line is Taiwan's defense zone. These 43 aircraft were none other than the J-20. A J-20 also called the Mighty Dragon. These fighters are modern, fast, powerful, and technologically advanced. No exaggeration needed. Unlike the J-11, the J-20 not only boasts a top speed of 1,700 miles per hour, but also an excellent stealth coating fit for a fifth-generation fighter. To the Chinese engineers, one reflective skin just wasn't enough 
So they also crammed into their brainchild a radar suppression system which creates invisible radiation to block enemy radar frequencies. This feature also disables the infrared guidance systems of homing missiles, thereby ensuring even more safety for the pilot. And the Chinese are pursuing low observable aircraft um, with the kind of capabilities um, that the J-20 have. The fighter is currently powered by two Russian turbojet engines, but China is already in the process of gradually upgrading its fighters with brand new domestically produced engines. The J-20's armament has undergone significant changes compared to its predecessors. It doesn't have a cannon or a machine gun, instead its internal compartments are filled to the brim with homing missiles capable of overtaking any enemy at 2,500 miles per hour and smashing them with their 450-pound warheads. Is the enemy on the ground? No problem. Cluster munitions will take care of that by covering an area of several hectares with a series of powerful explosions. It's designed to carry long-range weapons uh, that can be targeted against some of our uh, single nodal point of uh, a high-value asset. The J-20 is really more of a monster than a fighter, but even a beast such as this has something that hunts it. What do you get when you combine a supersonic aircraft, extremely powerful bombs, and the technological features of the most modern drones? The greatest jet fighter in the world, of course. The most recent upgrade to the F-35 Lightning II was a true breakthrough in aviation. In fact, it's best if you think of it as an armed, jet-powered computer that can connect to other aircraft as well as ground troops, processing thousands of pieces of information every second and still managing to destroy everything in its path. Self-guided missiles, cluster bombs, and even nuclear warheads are all part of this aircraft's arsenal. The Lightning II's key feature are its special multi-mode engines that can accelerate the aircraft to 1,550 miles per hour in just five seconds, creating a shockwave so powerful that it can literally demolish enemy vehicles if it flies low enough. These capabilities are already enough to make the F-35 the greatest fighter of our time, but very soon the aircraft will also be fitted with a real laser weapon, if it hasn't been already. Engineers are also creating a new control system that works in conjunction with self-learning artificial intelligence, making the pilot more of an addition to the aviation system. The human would be responsible for only the most important decisions, while automation handles the rest. This version of the aircraft could even be partially ascribed to the sixth generation of fighters. So what's China's answer to this? Well, this brings us to our most interesting point that the recent pranks and obvious provocations by China are not being done on a whim. The fact is that the Celestial Empire is already completing the construction of its ultra-modern aircraft, which is likely to become the first real sixth-generation fighter. Sixth gen is building a capable, reliable, uh, and redundant, robust combat cloud. That's right. What sets China's latest innovation apart is that it'll reach the next level in camouflage. It's similar to what was recently tested on the upgraded F-16, a hologram system. The complex is linked to the aircraft's unique outer coating, which can project any image. The plane can be made transparent by overlaying the image from the opposite side, or even turn it into a seemingly innocuous cloud. The plane's reconnaissance capabilities have also changed. Engineers have developed a powerful radar system with innovative sensors for gathering intelligence. These sensors can even read information about the enemy through obstacles and transmit that data to other aircraft. 6th Gen is ubiquitous and seamless sharing of information throughout the battle space. This beautiful machine's weaponry consists of anti-satellite laser drones, cluster munitions, 550-pound long-range anti-tank projectiles, and maneuverable air-to-air -air warheads that fly up to 2,500 miles per hour. For specific objectives, a whole swarm of kamikaze drones can be deployed, each of them independently tracking and aiming at the enemy. They also determine the safest route for delivering a devastating blow to the potential target. One can't help but wonder if China really possesses such powerful technology, or if it's all just an attempt to intimidate America, as they've tried to do so many times before. One thing's for sure, we'll find out pretty soon, because information rarely stays hidden for long these days. While we wait for the latest news updates, give this video a like, because it's come to an end. Thanks for watching.
subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and leave a comment with your thoughts about the video. We hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you soon.